<laughs> I got something cool to show you. All right, so I got my phone here, and it's awake, right? If I went, write me a title for a YouTube video about proper camera white balance. All it's going to do is pull up this chart. You know what it is. Now, I'm going to get rid of that, and then I'm going to... Press the button again. I'm squeezing the button instead of saying her name because she'll wake up all the ones in your house. Now watch this. Siri Pro. Write me a title for a YouTube video about proper camera white balance. Here it is. It says, Mastering White Balance and Photography. How to Achieve the Perfect Shot. You're like, wait, how'd you do that? Well, I basically made a shortcut that ties Siri in to chat GPT using OpenAI's OpenAPI, right? So I got this shortcut off the internet. It was in Spanish. I recoded it in English. It's not that hard. Coding shortcuts is super easy. We've had Matt Casanelli on the channel to show you the stuff before. It's relatively easy. I basically took the one that was generated in Spanish and I just recreated it in English. And let me show you what it looks like. So right here, if I were to click on this and go to edit, you'll see I'm doing this on the desktop because it's easier, but you could totally do this from a phone. You can see it says receive any input from the share sheet in which case we're pulling it from the S lady. And then in this text, this is where you're supposed to paste in your API key. So let me copy my API key. First, let me show you where to get that from because that won't make any sense if you don't understand where to grab it. So we're gonna click on Safari right here and then go to OPENAPI.com. All right, so right here, I'm gonna click on API. And then log in. Give me a chance to log in. All right, so it's logged in. I can log in with the power of Google. All right, I'm in. So as I'm here, right, you're gonna see if you click on your name, you go down to where it says view API keys, right? So you can see I already have my API key generated right there. If you don't have one, you press create new secret key, and then you just press this green box to copy that to the clipboard, okay? So now, now that we have that, I can move this out the way, and then if you, if you click on the link that I put at the bottom, it's gonna open this to your computer or to your phone. All you wanna do is come over here, and if you notice the one that I'm setting up to share with you guys, it says paste your API key here. I'm not gonna ruin the master because you need that in order to do this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the old API key, right? And then if you wanna change this, how can I help you with something else? You can, let me make that lowercase. You can change the how can I help you. You can make it say whatever you want, it's up to you. Now also, you can name it whatever you want. In the example, I use the word you know, S pro, I did that because I have another copy that I made, but you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Whatever this name is, that's going to be the command that you use to invoke the shortcut. So in this particular case, I have Siri purple. And now that it has the API key in there, all I need to do is run this one time because it has to activate some things in your system, right? So how can I help you? Um, uh, let's see, give me five video ideas about gardening. Okay. And I press done and it's doing the work. You can see the green right there means it's running. It's calling the API. This spiral up here at the top tells me that it is functioning. And then boom, there it is. How to prune roses for a healthier garden. Uh, growing fruits and vegetables in containers, creating a raised bed garden, DIY vertical garden planners, and organic weed and control solutions for the garden. So now we know this is working. Here's what's cool. Those are actually already added to the phone. 
You see? So there it is. There's Siri purple, what I just did, added to the phone. And so now I can invoke the command just by saying Siri purple. So you either squeeze the button or you say, hey, S lady. I'm not going to say, hey, S lady, because I have a HomePod speaker right there and it's going to try to answer. I'm just going to squeeze the button and do the same thing. Siri purple. Write me YouTube script for how to speak better on camera. It's doing the thinking. And of course I asked it something long, which was dumb, but now it's going to do that. And it's going to write the whole thing and it'll just pop up. What's really cool. There it is. There's the whole script <laughs> right there. Now, if you're going to use longer ones like this, you probably want to do that on your computer. Cause I don't know how I could easily copy and paste this. Um, but it's been real good for short things, but you know, I could screen capture that and then go a little bit to the end and screen capture that. In which case I could just use a text grabber to pull it up, but it's quite amazing. I did want to check one thing. I wanted to check to see if it lands in my, chat GPT standard backend. So let me go to that. In other words, you know, that list that you have when you've been using the prompts. And so, yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't save it over here either. It's just in your ape. It's just saved here in the API. So you're going to want to keep your, you know, your questions and your queries to something small. But one of the things that you could think of is you could ask it questions that you normally ask, you know, Siri, and then she gives you the generic answer, or here's what I found on a website, and it's kind of just not what you're looking for. Knowing the way this works and knowing that it's smarter, you could ask it questions where you need like a definitive answer, right? So here's another example. Wake up the phone real quick. And yes, I could have recorded this with Ecamm and show you this, but never mind. Siri Purple, what is the distance between the earth and the sun? Oh, I messed up. You have to remember when you say the command name, you got to wait for it to respond to you. How can I help you or whatever you typed? Siri Purple. What is the distance between the earth and the sun? There it is. The average distance between the earth and the sun is approximately 93 million miles. So yes, it does work. And so, you know, the regular S lady gives you different answers. So you do it with you want. It's super cool. It's very easy to do. I'm going to give you the link. And when you get this link, it's just going to say add to shortcut. Remember you want to pop in here, rename it to whatever you want to rename it to pop in your API key. And if you want to change the wording in the prompt, you can change the wording in the prompt. You don't have to mess with anything else down here. And uh, oh, look, because I did that example on the computer, I actually have it saved to the clipboard. But uh, yeah, super cool. So the next time you uh, delete this, next time you run, you can just in the computer, just press play. And then if you have your mic connected, it will work the exact same way. So really cool way to get stuff out of chat GPT and using the power of Siri. Thought you might like it. Anyway, aloha. Choo.